OK, in this step, we want to implement the augmented reality in our scene and show the 3D model with the remote rendering uh, by using the augmented reality. OK, at first I need to uh, check the new model. I've added a health box in the front of view. And let's come back to the Visual Studio. And uh, yeah, call the load model in here because we want to see what will happen in the AR mode. And yeah, okay. Come back to the Unity editor. And now we can see our health box in here. This is a very beautiful he health box. Okay. And also we don't need to have canvas because it's better. Okay. The next step is uh, we have to go to the window and package manager make sure you are in the Android or iOS uh, but I talking about Android let's try to download and install the AR foundation for uh, augmented reality and AR core XR and uh, other uh, requirements for AR uh, AR Core and AR Foundation is enough for us. You can install the newest version. For me, it's 4.1.1. Okay, after install that, we have to go to the build settings and player settings. Okay, in here, and the other. make sure we don't have any Vulkan and graphic APIs because it is not useful for us and also check off the multi-threaded multi rendering it must be checked off and another thing you have to ensure about it is a minimum API level must be API uh, Android 7 or higher API level 24 yeah that's it and also I propose to uh, use the uh, scripting backend as a IL2CPP and make sure the ARM64 as a CPU is check on yeah that's it it is for this part and also let's go to the XR plugin management after install the XR plugin management you can see in the Android part uh, you, uh, the all the plugin providers AR core must be checked on okay after you, after you do these uh, steps your Android is ready to use and you can see in the game object in the XR AR session origin and AR session and uh, other components other objects uh, for using the AR Propose to add the AR session and you will see the camera in here okay perfect and also you must be uh, copy and paste all of these components post process volume and post process layer and UD camera options to the your AR camera something like this copy okay and the post process layer in here and also UD camera option in here perfect now we can check off our UD SDK camera we don't need it but AR camera must be main camera the tag of the AR camera must be main camera 
Okay, now let's see if it is our camera in here. Okay, and it is the view of our camera. If we put our health box object in front of the AR camera, perfect. We will see something like this. Okay. Uh, it is a simple thing and a simple base f of the show the 3D model with remote rendering in AR. Now let's see what will happen in the uh, after the export an APK. For the export, we have to go to the build settings in here and the Android platform and click on build. And you need to write your uh, specific name and place and click on save. Okay, let's do the next step and uh, see what will happen in the Android phone.